What's up, everybody? This is Chris with BaseballCards.com again. I got myself all caught up on my videos and then waited quite a bit of time before even bothering to look at cards again. And when I decided to go ahead and look at cards again, they had a boatload of 40% off boxes and a few 50% off boxes that were all older years. You can see that you might even not even be able to read this, but it says 2008 baseball upper deck masterpieces. They had this is the only 08 that I found. The rest of them were 09 or newer. Some of these you've seen me open before. This did have the uh, plastic seal on it, but I took it off. That's where the sticker is on the seal here. It's got all of these 40% off stickers where it says it's 11.98 now, and some of them are. 50% off at 990, 9.97 or something. I got. I'm just gonna do one box at a time, or if I have multiple boxes, I'll do them at the same time if I can. But uh, instead of wasting time showing you guys the other boxes, I'm just gonna show you these. I kept these in the box on purpose because I want you guys to see. Back in 08, this is how Upper Deck packaged these particular cards. See how those can't go? They can't get to any of the edges of the box. You see how this uh, this one's sunk in a little bit because of the way they generated this fold here. But you can see that the cards can't reach the outside edges, so very few of these cards were ever damaged. It would take a pretty good shot on each one of these blasters to, to damage these cards. I haven't had any masterpieces in quite a while, but if I remember correctly, 2008 is the set that I have uh, many of. David Wright. The the writing on here and all the borders are all gold foil or copper colored foil. Alex Gordon. I know the table's squeaking right here under my arm, but we're just going to have to deal with it. That's just how it works. I can try to tilt that printer out of there a little bit, but <clears throat> about as good as it gets right here. Alex Gordon, James Loney, and Joe Morgan. I haven't checked. Uh, I haven't checked Beckett for any of these for any information on them. I checked eBay real quick just to see that only some of the super duper Derek Jeter auto out of five. Those are the only ones that are doing any significant selling. Tony Gwynn Sr., Prince Fielder, Carl Yastrzemski, and Luke Hochaver. I'm gonna tilt my camera down just a little bit. It's a little high for my hand here. There we go. I'll leave these over here and keep these here in the center so you guys can always see. Grady Sizemore holding two bats there. Roberto Clemente, not a bad one to have there. Chipper Jones and Robin Yount. I believe the base set was very, very small. I believe it was only... Uh, 100 cards, so once you get those 100 cards, it's over. <laughs> Jonathan Papelbon, excited, extremely excited. Possibly the World Series, the this painting based on the World Series photo. Yep. Justin Upton. Roy White, Yankee Stadium Legacy card. Justin Verlander. I've seen the, uh, I believe this was a, f a painting based on the no-hitter versus Milwaukee he threw back in 07. Uh, I actually saw this whole painting. It actually says 02 and 2 over here. You can barely see the front of the second two there, indicating that there were uh, two strikes and two outs. No balls, two strikes, and two outs, and it was, I'm assuming, the, the last batter. Uh, I'm not sure who it was. I don't remember. Yeah, but it. I saw the whole painting on eBay. They were doing the, the original paintings, the original artwork that uh, the cards were based on. So every one of these cards was definitely based on a painting. That's Verlander, and then you can see Alfonso Soriano was the last card in there. Russell Martin, when he was with the Dodgers. Joba Chamberlain, or Jabba Chamberlain, 
Ichiro. Eric Chavez when he was back at the A's. <clears throat> Joe Maurer. Receiving a Guinness Book World of Record Award. Not sure what he did, but it just says certificate is all you can really make out on it. Doesn't say anything on the back of the card about it. Gasuke Fukudome. Rookie card. Carlos Beltran when he was with the Mets. And Frank Thomas when he was with the Blue Jays just before he retired. Um... Just so everybody knows, I'm chewing a piece of gum. That if you guys hear any of that, I, I had a video before where I I was I had a piece of hard candy in my mouth, and I never mentioned it. And as I went back and watched that whole video, it just bugged the crap out of me that I was chewing on that. And here I am again chewing on a piece of gum. Ching Lung Hu, rookie card for the Dodgers. Chris Carpenter with the Cardinals. Whitey Ford with the Yankees. Roy Oswalt when he was back in the Astros. I was going to say, because these are 2008 cards, a lot of the players you know of today were on different teams at that point back then. Ryan Howard. Jim Tomey. Joe Gordon, Yankee Stadium Legacy. Ryan Zimmerman. And Greg Maddox. Now, if any of these cards are short printed, I don't remember if they had base cards short printed. Uh, but if any of them were, you got a good shot of every one of the cards in there, so you'll be able to figure that stuff out on your guys' own. And if I find them, obviously they'll be put into the store just like that. Speaking of the store and the ridiculous amount of problems I've been having with trying to update the files, I've, I've all but given up on trying to do an update this round. Uh, I'm most likely I'll wait until they come out with some new some new files uh, later on down the road, probably six months from now, I'll wait until they come out with a new set of files for my for me to try again because it it just sets me back so far when I when the site goes down like that it just sets me back so far uh, that people stop coming to the site. I mean I haven't had I just got a card order Tuesday and that's the first order I've had in over two weeks. So in the last three weeks I've had two card orders. So it, it really hurts me when I make mistakes or, or I, I guess it wasn't it wasn't really my mistake because the, the files are meant to be there. They, I mean, they, lead, they let you believe that the files are going to improve your site and in both cases they hurt my site. So a little angry that I paid $295 for that site software, but what's done is done. There's no refund, so I need to make the best of it. Go back to the site, you guys. Yeah, I, I tried as best I can to do as much as I can to make it better, but uh, with the software that's in it, it's kind of limited. So if I can't, without a new update in there, I won't be able to do too much to it other than add more cards, which is really all I need to do. I need to get all my cards in there first, then start worrying about everything else. But that's a lot easier said than done with 300,000 cards sitting up here behind me on this rack or more. Most likely more. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this video. Just a short little 2008 Upper Deck Masterpieces, and I will move on to another box and explain each one as I go to them. See you guys.